In this video, we're going to have a look at how to divide when we've got the same base. Okay, so if we take an example again, and this time we're going to look at y to the power of 5 divided by y to the power of 3. Now, y to the power of 5 is just y times y times y times y times y. And if we're dividing it all by uh, y cubed, then what we're doing is we're dividing it by y times y times y. Now you know that when you're simplifying algebraic fractions, anything that appears top and bottom is going to cancel out. So that pair of y's cancels, as does that pair, and as does that pair. So all you're left with is y times y, which is y squared. Okay? So you should be able to see that what's happening is that you're taking your indices and you're just working out the difference between them. So it's 5 minus 3 that ends up giving you 2. Okay? So as a rule, What's happening is that when you've got a to the power of m, and you divide it, divide it by a to the power of n, then your power is m minus n. So a to the power of m minus n is what you end up with. So this simple rule is what you need to use, and we'll put it into practice and do a few examples together. Okay? So, uh, let's look at simplifying some of these. Okay? Now, p to the power of 12 divided by p to the power of 5. Okay? Now, that's just going to be p to the power of 12 minus 5. 12 minus 5 is 7, so it's p to the power of 7. And that's u. For this one, we end up with y to the power of 6 minus 7, which is y to the power of negative 1. Now, because we don't want to leave our answer with a negative index, we'll move the base and power downstairs, so it's now going to be 1 over y. Okay, we don't need to write 1 over y to the power of 1. Just 1 over y will do. Okay? Now, for this one, um, we're going to do m to the power of 7 minus negative 4. Now, when you've got two negatives side by side, that's going to make a positive. So you end up with m to the power of 11. And that's you. Now, with coefficients, we can just deal with them separately. So 12 divided by 3... That's going to give me 4. And then if we look at the bases and the powers, you're going to have x to the power of 10 minus 7, which is 3. And then with this last example, we're going to have to use um, the rule for multiplying as well as the rule for dividing. So we'll deal with the top part first of all, and we'll deal with the coefficients. 3 4s, that makes 12 e to the power of 5 times e to the power of 2, that'll make e to the power of 7, and then we're dividing that by 2, e to the 11. Now again, deal with the coefficients, 12 divided by 2, that's going to make 6, and then to finish it off, e to the 7 divided by e to the 11, that's going to be e to the 7 minus 11, which is negative 4. And again, we do want to leave our answer with a negative index, so we'll move the base and power downstairs, and you end up with an answer of 6 on the top and e to the power of 4 on the bottom. And that's all there is to it. Okay? So if you have a look at the following uh, questions and see if you can work, in, work through them yourself, pause the video and then check back in a wee while and see how you uh, get on. Okay? So there you have A, B, C, D, and E is there. Okay? So pause the video and see how you get on with these questions. Right then, so let's have a look at this. y to the power of 9 divided by y to the power of 3. That's going to be y to the power of 9 minus 3, which is 6. For this one, you're going to have p to the power of negative 7 minus 4, which is negative 11. Now, we don't leave our answer like that, so we'll move the base and power downstairs, so we'll leave 1 on top, and p to the power of 11 on the bottom. Okay. For this one, we'll use the multiplication rule first of all to give us m to the power of 11 on the top. m squared is on the bottom. So we just work out the difference between the powers and you end up with m to the power of 9. Okay. Now for this one, if we deal with the coefficients first, 6 divided by 3 is 2. And then we're going to have 2x to the power of something. And the power is going to be 5, take away negative 2 which becomes 5 plus 2, which is 7. Okay? And finally, with this last one, 
If we use the multiplication rule on the top part first, 10 twos, that gives us 20. And then the rule gives us that that is e to the power of 10. Okay. And then we can say, well, we've got 4 on the bottom. 4 e to the power of 10. Now, 20 divided by 4 is uh, 5. Now, you know anything divided by itself is going to cancel out anyway. But uh, just if we use the rule, you'll get e to the power of 10 minus 10. 10 minus 10 is 0. And you should know that anything to the power of 0 is 1. So it's 5 times 1, which is just 5. Okay? So that's the answer to your five questions there. So that's uh, the rule for dividing when you've got the same base. a to the power of m divided by a to the power of n equals a to the power of m minus n. So I hope that was helpful.